All right, Blade Dancer Blooming Dash. And again, like, stop it. As you can see, I'm, I'm playing it completely wrong, but I'm still handling the game because... Oh, perfect, wave one. I just had to complain a little bit more. Oh, perfect, wave one. I just had to complain a little bit more. It's just keeping my every unit asleep. Yeah. All right, Blade Dancer Blooming Dash. Has been recently played a lot as a counter to all the Necro Toxic decks. Um, it's quite refreshing to play Blade Dancer, to be honest. Um, it's been forgotten like forever. Um, so yeah, let's try to do it. And the way it works, the whenever you move it, it will activate and the stacks on it so as you can see i'm moving it and the way to play it is to not uh, touch any of the bds uh, as much as you can pretty much because it will reactivate um the the, the flower thing whatever that is um so yeah that's the way to play it you play one or two uh, trappers one trapper before death wave second you place on the after the death wave and of course one blue and shut this for for obvious reasons um so yeah uh, i will be trying to to accomplish whatever that is um yeah i have no experience whatsoever with this deck so don't expect me to go insanely high into the death wave but i will try nonetheless and uh, right now i'm just trying to set up the board Because that's the setup, and then two more BDs here. Okay, that we can save. There's that also. And like I had, like I said, I have no idea how to play it, but I really wanted to try it. Hmm. Bear with me. I need to find the rhythm for my for my game. So what do I do now? Let's do something like that. And then we move this guy here. And I think this guy needs to go up there, down there. And then I moved here and I move in the circle basically. Yeah, so like that. Do like that. Because that will activate all of my BDs. So now this and this. And I have to do it all on the cooldown. So this. And then this and this no the middle part is tricky for me yeah it's it's it is tricky for me how do i do that with the most efficient i guess that's fine I have all all of them activated, so that should be good. So now let's say I move this guy and I move this guy. And it should be fine. 
because then I will be moving this guy and this guy and they are all activated I guess that should be fine yeah so the way you want to play it is to always have them deactivate and you reactivate them no wait you deactivate you wait for them to be deactivated uh, so that you get stuck and you activate them you cannot reactivate them all right so now i move this guy to activate all three of them and then i move this guy and he will be activated all right all right i think i got it somehow So now I move this guy. Can eat that, can eat that. And now I'm not gonna eat them just because they will be activated and they will be giving me a additional stack basically. So now for example this and this as well. Not sure if I do this a bit slower. But I guess that's fine. I mean, if I don't do it a bit too slow. As soon as they are deactivating, it's good. It's all good. So now we wait for them to disappear. So let's say we do that and do that. Okay, that is better, I think. Because now we move this guy. And I want Merjanks on my Gunslinger as well. Because soon I won't be able to move them. Which is a bit worry worrying. Let's save this guy. We're losing a little bit of stacks, but sure. I can't catch that. Yeah, now I have a problem because I don't have Merchants on my Gunslinger. So I need to. Oh yeah, I need to catch them first. Okay, tier 4 is fine, but I need to be more cautious about it. Uh, sorry. Got a little bit lost, but well, that's because I'm trying to get those merge ones. I think I have too many BDs now. How did that happen? Now this needs to go here. Yeah. Yeah, I think some BD got uh, got moved. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We got it. So now we wait for this guy and then we are back in the circle. I think I'll be good. So now we do that and do that. We can eat both of them. We move this guy and yeah, we are back on track. Perfect. We move this guy, this guy. I think I will be leaving this proper or a trapper already mm. 
now again we move this guy and then we move back on the middle just like that oh i missed uh, the movement shoot it cannot happen so now this and this As you can see, the damage is really crazy. Really crazy. Now this guy. Now this guy. I think something in the middle is missing. Because they are not activated. Like there is a short period where they are not activated and I don't like it. Oh, and it's... Ooh, okay. Let's try to catch the Meshrunk. Okay, good. Didn't have the Gunslinger tier 7, so it slowed me down a bit. Something in the middle is missing though. I'm not entirely sure what, but... Oh yeah, we are doing it. It's two minutes into the death wave. As you can see, the damage is really insane. What should I do now? Like, uh, for example, move it here. And do like that. Sure. Works somehow. So now this guy and this guy. Like I said, it's a testing game. I, I still have no idea how to play this deck. Like, what's the movement, you know? So now we move into the middle and then do that. Alright. I'm getting merged. I'm getting merged. Oh my god. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Because I lost two BDs. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least I have seven. Yeah, it is terrible. And this is tier two. I'm definitely doing something wrong here. And again, like, stop it! Oh, yeah. nah, I'm doing something wrong. I have to figure out. I lost the margin on this guy as well. It's just terrific.
And uh, yeah, Gorgon is. I did something wrong. I'm doing definitely something wrong. That's fine. As you can see, I'm I'm playing it completely wrong, but I'm still handling the game because this deck is quite OP at the moment. Six minutes and I'm playing it completely wrong. I guess it's also for Tuna. And just because I don't have... Six minutes 20 and I played it completely wrong. What the hell. Alright, I did some research and I think I know how to play it. So let's try it. First of all, I need to catch some Medrunks with my Gunslinger to be able to move them, of course. And find Enchanted Blue Sword. Alright, so let's move this guy. Uh, uh, uh. This guy can stay. Enchanted sword is the key. Trying to get some units on board, but yeah, mana gain in early stages is very low. Okay, so there it is. Now we want to set up the BDEs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we add eight a bit later on. Okay, that's good. So we don't need that. And then I move it here and I move it here. And I move it in the line. I don't know how good it will be, but sure. And I have to control the cooldown of Gunslinger, of course. And eat in between. I Means crop. I could add eight. Already, I think, with this setup. I don't think I will be stuck. With scrappers. Yeah, let's try that. We'll add this guy here, I think.
So something like that. And did now this guy? Come on, disappear. Alright, it's looking good so far. I mean, we got everything what we wanted. Ooh, didn't get the stack. Or maybe I got? That's okay. So now we want to wait a little bit longer. And now move this guy. Okay, solid. I think I got it now. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. Ooh, now I have a problem. Okay, let's eat this scrapper. Uh, because I have to catch the merchant. Yeah, it will mess up my my stacking a bit, but I need to get one more stack, one more merchant. I mean. Need this guy to be tier 7. I, I sort of forgot. That's okay. I'm still early in the game. I think we should be fine now. Let's catch one more. One more just to be extra safe, you know? We add this guy. Then we move here. Okay, I don't want to lose this merge rank. Or maybe I should just lose the merge rank, I think. Alright, let's back on the truck. Wait for the stacks to disappear. We can scrub a little bit more. Alright, let's let, let them all disappear and then we're gonna continue. Alright, should be good now. I have to remember to get the uh, tier 7 rank on this guy. I think it's the most important thing. looking even more than good it's looking pretty good always use the ability for the extra mana right how much stacks can we get until the death wave we are at 66 now Seventy-three and one more wave. I guess if we, if I didn't mess up uh, earlier, then it would be better. But maybe you can get close to. 
close to 100. All right, 86. I think I could do better, but that's fine. I think I can leave it for now. I don't have to move it yet. Because I will get extra stuck from it. I think. around five minutes I should change the formation to the standard BD formation to just keep them activated at all times to wait for the Paris so for now I do two times all right should be better against matter of uh, timing for the Paris so now for example I will wait for the second one to move because I have seven eight yeah It. I don't know for what. Alright, another pair. Yeah, alright. So that's much better now. Now wait for the pair. not eating this one because I will be getting additional stock from this guy. As you can see, mana is uh, not a problem if you have too many, too much mana. Oh no 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 Alright, we are at 130 stacks now. I think I will do one more boss now, and then I will move to the formation of standard BD. Yeah, where is the damage though? You know what? I will do that now. I don't know if I have time. I will try. Okay. 
Oh, thank, thank God. But I lost only this guy. Okay. And now we just keep them activated. Yes. Okay. I need one more BD. I need one more BD. Please, 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 please. Okay, nice. Um, please don't hit. Okay, I. It's all fine. Okay, can we use 7 minutes with not even Pokemon 60? I feel like I could get much more stacks if I was a bit more familiar with this deck. But here we are. Don't have mana. Oh, monkey is punching me in the face. A little bit too much. Okay, we are doing it. Somehow. Oh, Assassin is gonna mess me up. I know that for sure. Yep. Okay, we could reach 7 minutes. So that's the BD setup. Alright, so now, now I think I have the knowledge to make more than seven minutes so let's try to do it so we make the line uh, near the path with our gunslingers of course not having fortuna level 60 will not help me but uh, yeah i will try nonetheless let's do that Yeah, so in early game you just move them around just to get some uh, little by little stacks okay so let me try to find the this blue enchanted wood hmm. might be a little bit difficult but All right so we get the tier three gunslinger already Uh, yeah, getting the sword might be difficult. If you get it right off the bat in wave one, it will. It's just really good. But if you don't, then yeah, as you can see. Oh, perfect wave one. I just had to complain a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. So we eat this one and we get the uh, brain luck. Brain luck, sorry. Alright, perfect. Still trying to search high emergence uh, if possible. Okay, tier seven. I think we can we can leave it at that, and then move this here. this here so it will make us two four six eight 
And I did it do the power. So let's wait now. Let's wait for the pairs to show up and then we start moving them. Don't know if that helps, but yeah, that's the way I think is the most optimal. It might not be, so don't get what I'm saying for granted. Last time we got 86 stacks um, before the death wave, so let's see how much we will get now. I guess we can eat that. And we need one dropper somewhere. I guess I can eat that. Alright, one dropper is here. And we continue with the powers. I guess I can have uh, one of these. Hold on to that. Now let's wait for the power. Lovely to merge it, but I don't think I can. Okay, it's a little bit risky because I have to eat it. Hopefully, it will not be ranked up. Yeah, I don't have it maxed. Uh, it's just level one um, legendary, so it will be up to 15. It's not looking bad for now. Now <laughs> she's getting a scrappers again. My chopper is tier one. Only. All right, sixty-five. Maybe we can break the record. But I need Merge so Definitely. I think I'm gonna leave this trap already. I need this. I should have not moved it. And no, that's okay. Because if I move this... Oh, it will be... Okay, so I don't have to wait for this for the flower to disappear. 
Wait, hold on, let me test it. So now I got two. It's, it's pretty simple. And let's try to move this guy. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay. So I have to wait. Never mind. So we definitely break the record from previous game. Maybe you can get 100. Maybe. Might be difficult, but I think it's manageable. I don't know if I messed up somewhere, but... Uh, could be hundred stacks. No, okay. No way. No, it's 100. Uh, but it's better than previous game by six stacks. So I think it's already pretty good. So many scrappers. Okay, they didn't hit me. That's good. Oh, really? Okay, that can stay then. I got more stacks than her, so I guess I'm doing something right. the chopper, the scrapper. That's okay though. That's okay. Grandmaster. I wonder if it's going to hit me. Okay, solid, solid. Hundred twenty six. We finished at hundred thirty something on previous game. Slowly running out of mana, and I guess that's just a Putuna level problem. Or maybe I'm just getting a little bit lucky with with not getting so many scrappers when I doubt it.
Alright, we are getting close to the 5 minute mark where I would love to move my BDs and I want to do it ASAP. But I mean, I need to be quick with it. Okay, so stocks are looking good. The only problem is mana. Two, four, six, eight. Right, after Monkey, we'll be moving. So I move this guy here. Just in case. Yeah, as you can see. in time oh what's this guy it's tier 7 wait hold up hold up made a little mistake but it's okay I guess no you had to do it you... Oh, I need to cast the measurement from this guy. Can't. Can't. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me the measurement. Okay, perfect. Luckily, it's just padding. Maybe it's. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm dealing with it. Somehow. Oof, six minutes thirty. What's the boss? Monkey, another monkey. Oh my god. What are these monkeys doing? Well, I don't think I'm able to kill the monkey. It's just keeping my every unit asleep. Yeah. Well, almost seven minutes. It's pretty good. Pretty good deck. Blooming Dash Blade Dancer is just going crazy right now, and I just proved it. With Fortuna just level 40, I reached seven minutes while first timing the deck. Insane how good fair it is with Gunslinger and its movement. Any BD players should be happy with the new unit for sure. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel as I would love to get 2000 subs at the end of the year. If you have any other deck ideas, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow.